Hey, it's Amber with Mom Life at its finest, and today I want to share the number one thing I wish I knew before becoming a mom. That thing that nobody could have prepared me for, and that if I could go back in time, this is the most important thing I would tell my former pre kid self. I really hope that this gives you some advice, something to learn from so that you don't make the mistakes that I have made. And I am very excited to announce that this video is a collaboration with so many other incredible YouTube mamas. We are all sharing our top piece of advice, the thing we wish we knew before having kids. So if you check the link in the description after this video, you can watch the entire playlist and get so many pieces of wisdom, all these things that we just wish we had known. So the number one thing that I wish I could go back in time and tell myself before having kids was that there is no one right way to do things. You've heard people say that kids don't come with an instruction manual, but I always sort of brushed off that comment and I really, really assumed that I would just know what to do with my child when he was born. I really thought that becoming a mom would feel so natural to me and that I would instantly have all this wisdom to know how to care for my infant. That was so not the case. In so many ways, I just lost myself in new motherhood because I did not know what I didn't know. And as much as people try and share their experiences and they offer their help and, you know, we have all these parenting books and motherhood books and, and resources to rely on, you don't know what to be looking for. And then I, perhaps because of my personality and my perfectionist type A nature, as well as the fact that I'm an academic researcher for my job, like I was just convinced that there must be one right answer for every situation. And I drove myself crazy trying to figure out what that was. Looking back, this started long before my son was even born. I was so into doing the research to make sure we got the best car seat and the best stroller and the best baby carrier and the best breast pump and the best everything because I guess in some ways I thought that that was going to ensure my success as a mom. I thought that if I just had the right stuff, then everything else would be easy. And I really was then hit in the face, metaphorically speaking, after my child was born to realize that I had so many questions. I didn't know what the heck I was doing and I didn't know who to really ask for help. Even when I did ask for help, I couldn't believe the variety of answers that I received, which was not helpful because then I'm like, well, which one is right? Do I listen to so-and-so telling me to do this? Or do I listen to this other source that offers a completely different view? And I'm sure you might have experienced this, whether you have kids or not, as you are looking for answers and trying to seek out, you know, what the right way to do things is, those varied opinions are very, very starkly opposed to one another. And you feel like you have to choose sides and that inevitably choosing one thing is going to, you know, come at the cost of something else or that you can't do both or that if you, you know, for instance, co-sleep with your child, then you are doing all these other things wrong. Or if you choose to bottle feed and breastfeed. Like there's just, there's such conflicting opinions out there. Everybody takes this really hard line stance and it was so hard for me because I wanted to know what the right thing was. And the reality is that there is no one right way. It has taken me years and three kids now to realize this because Everything I sought out with my first son, you know, was it would work in certain moments and then not in others, or it wouldn't work at all. And I'd be like, but I thought this was what you do. This is what I was told. Or then things that worked with my first son didn't work with my second, or things that worked with my first two kids didn't work with my third. And you just can't cling too tightly to any one piece of advice, any one way of doing things. And what I wish I could go back and tell myself 
is to just go with the flow. Just do what feels right to me in the moment. And if it stops feeling right, that it's okay to change. You're not locked into that decision. You can change course, you can change your mind, you can try different things. And that by trying different things, you will ultimately find out what the right way for you to do things is. And that is unique to you. That is what works for you and your family and your children. And screw what everybody else thinks. Excuse my language, but I know that as moms, we get criticized or we perceive the criticism from society or from other members of our family or other moms at the grocery store, right? And I've previously spoken in my other video about how there's no such thing as the perfect mom and we shouldn't be trying to compare ourselves to this ideal that doesn't exist. I also have this other video where I talk about how important it is that we stop comparing ourselves to other moms and thinking that anybody else has it figured out because we don't. No mom does. No one can have it figured out, certainly not before they have kids. And I argue that, you know, even now, seven years into this, my oldest is seven, I have a five-year-old and then a two and a half-year-old as well. It's day by day, it's moment by moment, and that search for the answers for the one right way caused me to miss out on enjoying the moment, on just being there and trying to soak in all the wonderful moments, hard as they might have felt when they were happening, to just, just appreciate it, you know? It's a learning experience and it's so special. Once that time is gone, we don't get it back. It all flies by in an instant. I know you've heard that from other moms, but this is overall the one thing that I just wish I could go back in time and tell myself. There's no one right way to do things. You're never gonna have it all figured out. Don't think that anybody else does and give yourself grace. Give yourself space to experiment, space to adapt, Know that you're going to evolve and it's going to be okay. You're not messing up your kids. There's no wrong way to do it if that's what works for you. If your kids are loved and cared for and you are so invested in making sure that they are okay, that's all that anyone can ask of you as a mom. I hope that this video gave you help. If you are expecting biggest congratulations, I want to underscore that becoming a mom is the best thing that ever, ever happened to me. Even if it's also the hardest thing that's ever happened to me, I wouldn't trade it for anything and I don't think any mom would. So if you do have kids, let me know in the comments how many kids you have and whether what I'm saying is something you've experienced. Let me know in the comments your other tips for what you would tell your former self about what to expect with kids and you know advice for other new moms. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel for two new videos a week all about ways that mom life is just incredible and how we can make it easier as well as ways to laugh at ourselves and just, you know, figure this out as we go. Last but not least, don't forget to check out the playlist in the description and watch all the videos from the other awesome mamas that have collaborated on this topic. I know that you'll get so much value from hearing each of our different pieces of advice and we genuinely want to share all these things we've learned the hard way in hopes of helping you avoid our mistakes. Until next time, thanks so much for being here. Have a great day.